Hey, blessings. God bless you, prayer warriors. It's Sunday again, January 21st. Think of it, next Sunday, we're going to be at the end of January. Went by quick. I know it's cold, a lot of snow, but we're supposed to get rain, so it'll wash away the snow. What a wacky winter, but it's almost done. Amen. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Our Bible reading today is Matthew 15, verses 1 through 20. And again, you know, Jesus here, you know, they're, they're, why aren't your disciples washing their hands? And Jesus doesn't get mad at people, but boy, that religious spirit. Verse 7, hypocrite, well did Isaiah prophesy about you, saying, These people draw near to me with their mouth and honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. And in vain, vain they worship me, teaching as doctrine the commandments of men. Let's always be forgiving. Let's always be believing in people. Let's not become so hard. I mean, I love that scripture that God chooses mercy over law. Amen. And so many people just so quick to condemn. I see what they do to me in the church and others. It's just like, really? Look at our hearts. Look at people's hearts. Amen. All right, let's keep going on. So today we're praying for humanitarian ministries. So many of them. Our prayer focus is uh, for the country. For country is Romania. And then for the United States, it's Ohio and Kentucky. All right, prayer warriors, I know your heart. You wouldn't be here praying with me day in and day out if you didn't have a heart of compassion and mercy. Amen. Let's pray. Father, we love you and honor you on this, on this Sunday, a special Sunday, with our guest speaker, Juan and Tracy and YWAM, Youth with a Mission, Lord. I'm praying, Father, for supernatural work being done today, Lord to save our children, to save our teens, to save our young adults. And how many are out there contemplating suicide and all that could get off into a mission work and, and do a great work for God? Oh, Lord, we praise you and I thank you for bringing in these that have a different anointing than I have, than our church has to share with. So we praise you and honor you. We love you on this cold day, Lord. We, but we thank you for today. We pray over our parking lot, Lord. We do the plowing. We do the shoveling. We do the salting. But, Lord, we need help for the sun to hit it. You know, when it's this cold, it's hard for it to melt, Lord. We just pray for safety and protection in our parking lot, in our building as people are tracking in yuckies from outside. Thank you, angels of the living God, for living for abiding in our church service. We also pray, Father, for our children downstairs, our teenagers that'll be in service today, our young adults, our adults, our seasoned citizens, and we pray, pray, Father, your protection over each and every one of us, Lord. Father, I pray for my brothers and sisters as I know they're praying for me, Lord. They're praying for Diane. They're praying for my children and grandchildren also. I pray, Father, your shalom and your blessing upon them. I pray peace like never before, your goodness, your kindness, your direction in their lives. I thank you that no weapon formed against them us shall prosper. Every tongue that rises up against us shall be brought down. I pray Psalm 91, we spoke it out at the beginning of the week. And Lord, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And all the way at the end, Lord, with long life, he will satisfy him and show us your salvation. So I thank you for that blessing upon us as we start our day. I pray that we come into church with our hands lifted up, not looking for every little problem or every little different thing, but to say, I'm here to glorify God. As one minister said, Lord, I thank you for technology, but if it was all gone, I could take a wash basement and still bring in the anointing. So we thank you for the gifts that you've given us, the technology that you blessed us with. 
But Lord, we desire your anointing more than anything. Last Sunday was so powerful. We thank you for this Sunday being so powerful also. In Jesus' name. We lift up the prayer cards, the prayer requests that have come in. And we pray over these, Lord, and we pray a touch of heaven upon them, Lord. Father, I, when I read some of these needs, I'm just like, wow, Lord. We pray over all these different needs. And I just thank you again for our God supplying all of our needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. So many of these are for healing, Lord. I pray, Father, for those that need healing in their bodies, Lord. And I thank you, thank you for that. In Jesus' name, we pray over ourselves. Come on, lay your hands on yourself. And we just thank you, Lord, for the covenant, the covenant of healing that we have with you. By your stripes, you were healed. You sent your word and healed us and delivered us from our destruction. We thank you for this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We lift up our United States of America. And today we pray for Ohio and Kentucky, Lord. We pray for the needs of these two states, the people of these two states. I see Ohio 29%, Kentucky 49% evangelical Christian. So we pray for the needs of fellow Christians there, but we pray for the lost, the unchurched, and the unsaved. We lift up Biden and Harris in our executive branch. We lift up Schumer and Johnson in our, Johnson, our legislative branch. We lift up Roberts in our judicial branch. We lift up Murphy and governors, Lord. We lift up mayors of cities, Lord. We pray over our own. We pray for Sparta, Hardington, Hamburg, Franklin, Wanted, Sandington, Sussex, Sussex County, Lord. We just pray for all the different needs in Jesus' name. And we thank you again for needs being met right here in our own town, Lord. We thank you for that. We pray for those that are saved in our government, Lord, and, and uh, offices of authority. And we pray that you would help them, strengthen them in Jesus' name. We pray for the unsaved, that their hearts would be open, the scales would fall off their eyes, and they'd make a decision before death comes. Oh, they can have a, a parade down the block through Washington, D.C., with your coffin being dragged behind horses or cars or whatever. But if you don't know Jesus, hmm, to enter into a Christless eternity, we pray for them. We lift up our world before you. We pray for Romania today, Lord. And we pray for the people of Romania, 21 million, Lord, but only 6.3% evangelical Christians. We pray for the volunteer teams, the workers there, those that are sharing the gospel with people. We pray for unity in the teams. We lift up Israel before you, and we pray, Father, as this war is dragging on, and this war seemed to have lit the fuse for so many other things that are going on in our world. I know that Ukraine and Russia was before it, but all of a sudden, we're seeing rattling all over the place. We're seeing that word again coming out, World War III, World War III, nuclear bombs, words that we haven't heard for probably four or five months. We pray for Israel. We pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Lord, you said you would bless us, bless those that bless Israel. We bless them today. You would also curse those that curse Israel. Well, we're not cursing them, so we'll take the blessing today. We pray for every nation in our world and every leader of those nations. Now we pray for Comoros, Madiscar, Saikal, wow, hard ones today, Mauritius, Nambia, Boswana, Zambia. We lift up these different nations before you and we pray for the people of these nations. I pray for the humanitarian ministries that are out there reaching in all of these nations in Jesus' name. We lift up organizations before you, Missions of the World, Missionary Tech Team, Morning Star Development, Museum of the Bible, awesome place. I got to go there. National Day of Prayer, the Navigators, New Life Church, 
And we lift up Christian Faith Fellowship Church today. And every church from the east to the west, Lord, that'll be preaching the gospel. I pray for churches that have gone totally woke, Lord. And we pray for a candlestick to be changed, a man of God, a woman of God, to get there to share the gospel again. And I thank you for that. We lift up Juan and Tracy today and the entire service. I pray for parents to listen and say, why not? Why not let their kids go off for a few months and before they get off to school and, and, and the, the pressure that's out there on our young people? So we lift up the services, both the 9 and 11. Thank you for full houses of people hungry for the things of God and that the lost, the unchurched, and the unsaved, we call them in, in Jesus' name. Now, Father, we thank you for this day. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your health and healing. Thank you for your prosperity, true prosperity, to know Jesus. There's no greater prosperity, and that's spiritually, mentally, physically, socially, and financially. We love you, Lord. Bless your people today. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Woo, God is good. Got to go get ready for church, amen. God bless you. Hope to see you in a little bit. If you can't make it because of whatever reason, we'll be live online. Facebook, YouTube, but check the new one that we have, Church Online. Go to our website and connect there. Because if YouTube and Facebook get rid of us, this one they can't get rid of. Well, say they can't get rid of us. You know what I mean. Please share this. Let's get other people involved. God bless. Have a great day.